sit right back and you'll hear a tale of seven stranded castaways. But wait, this isn't Gilligan's Island. On the mysterious island, it's supposed to be in the South Pacific, which kind of broke me up because they started out in um, Virginia at the Confederate prison where the Union uh, soldiers escaped in this big balloon. And the line was, it's the greatest storm ever to hit America. And I thought, I don't know, 28 years, the same storm has been happening on Gilligan's Island. That's the greatest storm I've ever heard of. A few of the comforts of civilization make life quite bearable, don't they? That depends on how many comforts one's been used to. So they had a cave where they found everything, and then things washed ashore, just like a lot of the episodes we did. Things wash up on the shore, and we use them. Captain, rifles, breech loaders, and ammunition. No, we just never told anybody where we got everything. All right, gentlemen, we'll make this our rendezvous. Now, Mr. Spillett, I'll take Neb. You take Pencroft and Herman. Take them where, Captain? To hunt for food. Well, Captain Hardy was like a skipper. I mean, he knew everything. And, of course, he had a little revolt there once in a while, but he overcame it, you know, like, if you don't obey me, you're off by yourself. And everybody would go, oh, I don't want to be alone. So he, they'd obey him. My name is Lady Mary Fairchild, and this is my niece, Elena. She was kind of like Mrs. Howell and Ginger kind of mixed together. You know, I mean, she was very rich, and she was also kind of sexy, so I figured that was kind of like putting two characters together, Mrs. Howell and Ginger. And the niece was, she was cute, you know, but Marianne, I think, was cuter. I don't know how I get to talk me into it. Everyone's going to say it's far too short. Herbert won't. I'm certain he won't. Well, the newspaper reporter was definitely the professor because he had knowledge about almost everything. I mean, the professor had 10 degrees and everything but boat building. At least they had somebody that could build a boat. I mean, for 100 episodes, we had nobody that knew how to build a boat, but we could build a raft, and guess what they did? They built a raft, too. It was very similar to the one we built. That volcano is on the verge of eruption. A catastrophe of nature will soon turn this island into cinders. Captain Nemo. I mean, he was so spectacular. I love that thing he had on with the, you know, the big shell for the air and the shell for his helmet. And it was just, we looked at it and just broke up. I said, how do we miss that on Gilligan? I mean, if we had seen that film, I think we would have definitely put Gilligan with a big shell on his back and the big shell over his face and they would have, he couldn't have breathed. He would have just disappeared in the lagoon and never come up. It'd be analogous to a lot of things we did, trying to get off the island and preparing to get off and having the woman's hut and, you know, and trying to get food. Hey, look what we got up here, giant mice. Of course, they had goats. We had no animals really on the island except lions and gorillas and tigers and various things like that. Boy, did you ever see oysters that size before? It's almost supernatural, isn't it? The crab is in super dynamation and picks up the guy in his big claw. He's stuck in there for about, what, I don't know, five minutes. And then they finally kill the crab and they dump him into this huge cauldron of boiling water from the volcano and he's cooked. And they got this giant crab cooked for, I guess you could eat a year. But the guy in the, in the big crab claw, he's even hurt. He's not even bruised. Softest, gentlest crab I've ever seen. But when the crab showed up and it was so big, there might have been a conversation about do you think there might be other things in this island that are big like this? No, they just took it like, oh, yeah, there's just one thing on the island, that, and we just ate it, so it's really fine. But they never, never had the intelligence to figure out that maybe if there was one big, giant thing like this on the island, there might be other big, giant things, you know? message of the movie was don't get any kind of balloon. Just stay out of balloons. If you get a choice, don't go if there's any kind of weather report saying there's a little storm on the horizon. That might be the greatest storm in American history. See Mysterious Island as part of a Monster Vision special edition beginning next on TNT.